Use of Azithromycin Tablet Azithromycin is an antibiotic medication that is commonly used to treat a variety of bacterial infections. It belongs to the class of antibiotics known as macrolides. Here are some common uses of azithromycin tablets. Respiratory infections, azithromycin is often prescribed for respiratory tract infections such as bronchitis, pneumonia, and sinusitis. It can help treat bacterial infections in the lungs, throat, and sinuses. Sexually transmitted infections, azithromycin is effective against certain sexually transmitted infections, particularly chlamydia and gonorrhea. It is sometimes prescribed in combination with other medications to treat these infections. Skin and soft tissue infections, azithromycin can be used to treat certain skin and soft tissue infections, including cellulitis, folliculitis, and impetigo. Ear infections, for children and adults with bacterial ear infections, azithromycin can be an option. It helps in treating middle ear infections caused by susceptible bacteria. Traveler's diarrhea, azithromycin is sometimes prescribed to travelers visiting areas with a high risk of bacterial diarrhea. It can help prevent or treat bacterial infections that cause traveler's diarrhea. Other infections, azithromycin may also be used to treat other infections like urinary tract infections, certain eye infections, and certain sexually transmitted infections like syphilis. Dosage of azithromycin tablet. The dosage of azithromycin tablet can vary depending on the condition being treated, the severity of the infection, and individual factors such as age, weight, and overall health. It's important to follow the dosage instructions provided by your healthcare professional or the instructions on the medication label. However, here are some general guidelines for the commonly prescribed dosages of azithromycin. Respiratory infections. Adults. The typical adult dose is a one-time 500 mg tablet on the first day, followed by 250 mg tablets once daily for the next four days. Children, the dosage for children is determined by their weight. The usual dose is 10 mg per kilogram, up to a maximum of 500 mg, on the first day, followed by 5 mg per kilogram, up to a maximum of 250 mg, once daily for the next four days. Sexually transmitted infections. Adults, the usual dose is a single 1 gram tablet taken as a single dose. Children, azithromycin is typically not prescribed for children under 45 kilograms for the treatment of sexually transmitted infections. Skin and soft tissue infections. The dosage can vary depending on the severity of the infection and other factors. It is typically prescribed as a one-time 500 mg tablet on the first day, followed by 250 mg tablets once daily for the next four days. It's important to note that these are general dosages, and your healthcare professional may adjust the dosage based on your specific condition. Always follow their instructions carefully and complete the full course of treatment as prescribed. Mechanism of Action of Azithromycin Tablet Azithromycin exerts its therapeutic effects by inhibiting bacterial protein synthesis. It belongs to the class of antibiotics known as macrolides and acts by binding to the 50S subunit of the bacterial ribosome, which is the site of protein synthesis. This binding prevents the formation of peptide bonds between amino acids and inhibits the elongation of the growing protein chain. Here is a step-by-step -step overview of the mechanism of action of azithromycin. Penetration, azithromycin enters bacterial cells by passive diffusion and accumulates within the cell at concentrations much higher than in the surrounding tissues or fluids. Binding to the ribosome, once inside the bacterial cell, azithromycin binds to the 50S subunit of the bacterial ribosome, specifically to the 23S rRNA component. This binding occurs at a different site from other macrolide antibiotics. Inhibition of protein synthesis, by binding to the ribosome, azithromycin prevents the translocation step of protein synthesis. It interferes with the movement of the ribosome along the mRNA template, inhibiting the addition of new amino acids to the growing protein chain. Bacteriostatic effect, the inhibition of protein synthesis by azithromycin results in a bacteriostatic effect, 
meaning it slows down the growth and reproduction of bacteria. This allows the body's immune system to recognize and eliminate the bacteria more effectively. It's important to note that azithromycin has a broad spectrum of activity against many different types of bacteria, including gram-positive and gram-negative bacteria, as well as atypical bacteria such as chlamydia and mycoplasma. Its mechanism of action is primarily targeted at bacterial protein synthesis, which distinguishes it from other classes of antibiotics that may have different targets or mechanisms. Side effects of azithromycin tablet Azithromycin, like any medication, can have potential side effects. Not everyone who takes azithromycin will experience side effects, and their severity and frequency can vary from person to person. Here are some common side effects associated with azithromycin tablet use. Gastrointestinal effects. Headache. Allergic reactions. Liver function abnormalities. Cardiovascular effects. Other side effects, azithromycin can also cause other less common side effects, such as dizziness, fatigue, changes in taste or smell, vaginal yeast infections, and ringing in the ears. It is important to note that this is not an exhaustive list of side effects, and some individuals may experience rare or unusual reactions. If you are concerned about any side effects while taking azithromycin or have any questions, it is recommended to consult with your healthcare professional. They can provide personalized advice and address any concerns you may have. Important advices for taking azithromycin tablet. When taking azithromycin tablets, it's important to follow the advice and instructions provided by your healthcare professional. Here are some important tips to keep in mind. Follow the prescribed dosage, take the medication exactly as prescribed by your healthcare professional. Follow the recommended dosage, frequency, and duration of treatment. Do not alter the dosage or stop taking the medication without consulting your healthcare provider. Take with or without food, azithromycin can be taken with or without food. However, taking it with food may help reduce gastrointestinal side effects such as nausea and stomach upset. Follow the instructions provided by your healthcare professional or the medication label. Complete the full course, it's important to complete the full course of azithromycin treatment, even if you start feeling better before completing the prescribed duration. Skipping doses or stopping the medication prematurely may lead to incomplete treatment and the potential for antibiotic resistance. Avoid grapefruit juice, azithromycin can interact with grapefruit juice and affect its absorption in the body. It's advisable to avoid consuming grapefruit juice while taking azithromycin. Take at the same time daily, to maintain consistent levels of the medication in your system, try to take azithromycin at the same time each day. This can help ensure that the medication is effective in treating the infection. Use additional contraception, if you are taking azithromycin for the treatment of sexually transmitted infections, it's important to note that it may interact with certain contraceptive methods such as hormonal birth control pills. It is recommended to use additional forms of contraception, such as condoms, during treatment and for a period of time afterward as advised by your healthcare professional. Inform your healthcare provider, make sure to inform your healthcare provider about any other medications, supplements, or medical conditions you have before starting azithromycin. This can help prevent potential interactions and ensure the medication is safe for you to use. Report any side effects. If you experience any concerning or persistent side effects while taking azithromycin, such as severe diarrhea, allergic reactions, or unusual symptoms, contact your healthcare provider immediately. Remember, these are general guidelines, and it's important to consult with your healthcare professional for personalized advice and instructions specific to your condition. They can provide the most accurate and appropriate guidance for your situation.